Hi friends, this is Gail O'Neill and I teach stamping. I hope you enjoy. So tonight I had a request a, a while ago. Somebody saw this card um, on YouTube when I showed it and they wanted me to do it. So after I do my live and I'll be making another card as well, um, this card will be shown on YouTube for that person. So let me get started. Tuscan Vineyard is, is the main set that I'm using with that. Buffalo check background. So I'm going to take my piece, which is my normal five by three and three quarters. And I'm going to ink this up in crumb cake, which I have to get crumb cake. You could see how ready I was. So I don't even bother mounting these anymore. And that's weird that it has lines on it. This is this pad is very juicy. So we'll see how this comes out. Very juicy. So I just lay this over the top. And then I take a piece of computer paper. And then just rub. Very juicy. So there's the background. And that'll dry a little bit lighter. I'll put that aside. Get rid of this paper. And then we're going to take that main stamp and I'm going to ink that up in soft suede. Stamp that down. Pretty. And then the oval framelits cuts that out perfectly. So I'm going to just take it over to the side, cranky cranky, and here it is. And we're going to start putting this card together. So I did make a little change and I used one of the other framelits that I'm going to stamp the words on. Now I used um, Happy Harvest Blessings and that came from Country Home. So again, I'm going to stamp that in soft suede and try and line that up without getting my head in the way I'll leave that out because I am going to do a little little sponging Oh, one more thing to stamp is I borrowed from Detailed Deer and stamp that as well. And I already have it cut out. I won't do my little magic trick. So now this can go away. So I'm going to go ahead and mount this. This is five and a quarter by four. And I can even put this right on. Oh, that didn't score right, did it? Like I say, everything's fixable. 
let's just hope that was, yep, five and a half by four and a quarter. So then we're going to take this and mount it right on there. And then another piece from um, the oval, layered ovals, and we'll put that on there. It's a very easy card. You know how much I like simple. Simple. And then the gold thread. We're going to use some of that, the metallic thread. Ooh, it's all over. Okay, so sometimes I kind of wrap it around my hand and start that way. And then other times I do it a little differently. But since I already wrapped it, so I just put some down and then kind of pull it around. And if I want more in another direction, because I have that tape, so I can just make some loops and stick it down. And that's probably more than enough. And then just take and we'll mount that. And th these will secure the threads that are loose. So the dimensionals have another purpose. It's easier to get the piece off the backing when they are really stuck down well. All right, let's face it. It's not so easy no matter what. It's a pain. But I love dimensionals. And of course, then you find these all over the house. And then if there's a an end and that one's a little long, but we'll leave it. We'll leave it. And then I took this piece and mounted it. And I think this time I'm going to raise it also. I like to change things up a little bit. And then the final piece, and, and this was a, an addition when I was doing my detailed deer cards. I just, this was hanging on my wall and I went, oh, let me just see how that looks. But it looks great on there. So quick, easy, easy card. Let me just get this thread somewhere out of the way. You should see the back of my desk. It's awesome. An awesome mess. Okay, and the second card. And hopefully I have all the pieces here. I had a little help from my friend. I had to send, oh, this was, I was testing something out and forgot to take it away. But it might look good there. So... I had to send my first card to Sue and say, what do you think? I hate it. 
So she gave me an idea and I went with it and it came out okay. <laughs> I'm like, I was like freaking today. I don't have anything for my life. My original plan was to show how you can take real leaves and press them and make a background using the Big Shot. But it was such a hot day today that all the leaves in my yard, and I can't really get to the trees, but everything that had blown into the yard was all dried up. So it was a no-go for that. Okay, so I'm going to take some soft suede, and I've already put this through the wood folder. And I'm going to ink up a little on the sponge. And just darken the grains. And it just shows off that background just a little bit more when you do this. You can use the sponge brayer, I suppose. I have it. I never use it. I like the old rubber brayer. Okay, so that's ready. And then on a piece of Cajun craze, oh, I think it's going to go a little bit longer. That's cool. We're changing this one up again also. Okay, so then I have some foil paper, um, and this is copper. Haha. <laughs> and I'm just going to put a piece of Cajun craze on top of that. So you get to use up some scraps this way. And just trim off the ends there. And I'm going to do the same thing on this, just mount that, but I'm, I think I'm going to use some glue. It'll hold it a little better. So we're going to just hold that down for a second. Who else came in? I see Deborah, Teresa, and then trim off the excess Joyce. on that as well. Can't see anybody else unless I I move this. Let me see. Up. Oh. So we've got that. Joy, Stacy, Judy, and Linda. Really I can mount Janice. that onto the card base. Just want to make sure it's the Susie. right way. Okay, so what I did, and I'm, I'm not going to stamp them. I was going to stamp and do my magic trick, but I've already got these, these done. Um, this was from First Frost, and I used, and it's so pretty, this paper. Um, this is the Joyous Noel, and it's much thinner than any of the other um, glimmer paper that we've had but very pretty Christmas and fall colors. So I pre-did these, and this I did a couple extras, just in case. Um, I just have to find that stamp that has now disappeared in my mess. Great. Here it is. Okay, so I stamped this in the Cajun Craze. And, and really the easiest way to do this is stamp it on your paper and then take it to the machine unless you're using something small. But we're going to go for it. 
that's why I cut a couple. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so now it's a matter of putting it all together. So again, we'll use some dimensionals. And And then I just kind of think we'll put a, a dark, we'll put that one down there. So I kind of laid them out. And because I had two here, I wanted to have one of the sprigs and then stay. And then with the one going down here, I wanted two sprigs. And I had five cut, and they're all missing. There they are. Huh. Okay. And they like to stick together. And I didn't get that punch. We have like a really nice punch with a sprig and that would have been really perfect for this as well. So I'm going to put some glue on the back. I hope I'm in camera. Let me get rid of this. So you don't need a lot and you can go back and put this doesn't want to come out now. Maybe because I was using this one. Uh huh. Because you can lift these up and put like a little bit more, a little bit more glue. So that's going to come down like that. Of course, when you're using the glue, you want to just hold it a little bit. And that should go the other way. I think I have that one backwards, too. It does have like a thinner part that's supposed to be the stem. But it's also a pretty, pretty easy card. Less stick on your fingers if you do that. I'm going to turn this one around and add a little bit more glue and get it. Okay, and then we're just going to put on our little saying. That's going to hold the rest of it down. And if, if you had to go back, you can, you know, put a little bit more under there. But I like, as long as when you go to put it in the envelope, some of it can, um, can be loose. I kind of like that look. So, in reality, it was another very easy card. So let me bring back the other card.
get everything out of the way. And thank you for joining me tonight. I hope you enjoyed these two quick cards. And I will see you Sunday night. And I'll have something new. I got a little treat in the mail today. I can't wait to start playing. So I'll see you Sunday. Thanks for joining me. Good night.